you, 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 if you if you know, you know. Um, what a disappointing season it has been for the Dallas Cowboys. Just absolutely terrible. All of this talent on the field, and we get outplayed by the Eagles. Basically, the practice squad. Greg Ward. I mean, what you say? That dude shined a couple of days ago. Miles Sanders, Carson Lentz. You know, like, like, like these are the only players that I can remember that did anything significant yesterday. Zach Ertz got injured. Uh, and, and, and the Eagles take the lead in the NFC East. The Eagles take the lead in the NFC East. Eight and seven. Cowboys seven and eight. And it's going to come down to one final game next week for both teams. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go backwards a little bit, you know, I'm going a little backwards a little bit today um, for the recaps and everything like that. So, week 16 of the NFL season um, basically was punctuated by that um, for me. Um, a disgusting loss, and now our season is in jeopardy, like it or like it hasn't been already. But you know, it, it really is in jeopardy now. Um, but you know, it is what it is at this point. You know, I'm going to assume Jason Garrett will be fired very, very shortly after Week 17, no matter what the case is. Um, but the Packers, they win the NFC North. They use their defense. They use their clamps. To beat down Kirk Cousins, and he's 0-9 on Monday night. Crazy thought, you know. Then on Sunday night, which I did not pay any attention to at all, um, Chiefs, they beat the Bears 26-3. Bears, Bears suck. Um, the Cardinals, somehow they continue to surprise people at the end of the season. You know, Kyler Murray and company, that defense just shut down the Seahawks. 27-13 was the final there. Raiders, they're still alive in the playoff hunt. Crazy, right? Crazy thing, you know? 24-17 over the Chargers. Chargers having a disappointing season. It's almost over the Broncos. I don't know how these guys keep winning, but they beat the Lions 27-17. Um, and the first thriller of the day um, was the overtime game with the Giants and the Redskins. Dwayne Haskins, Daniel Jones, you know, just they, they went at it for 60 minutes. They had some extra time, but the Daniel Jones <sighs> looks like Saquon. Yo, help you out here. And Saquon was out here basted and feasted on the on the Redskins. So the Giants get the victory there. Um, Falcons continue their momentum after after having such a rough start. You know, 24 to 12 of the, the Jags, you know, it is what it is. Um, Ravens, they all but cement themselves. They are the number one seed in the AFC. They're going to be. They've locked it up. They beat the Browns. The Browns, well, the Browns did a bust. Their year is a bust. Six and nine on the season. No winning season in this decade for the Cleveland Browns. What a disgusting display right there. You know, you got to have a better organization than that. All that talent the Browns had, and they just drop it. They drop the ball on it. Dropped it hard. Um, the other thriller was the Bengals and the Dolphins, man. Um, now, of course, I didn't see this game. It was not really important at all. But the Dolphins had a 20-plus had a twenty plus point lead, blew it to the Bengals, and then they ended up winning it overtime. Crazy. Crazy, crazy time. Um and the Bengals, they lock up the number one pick in the NFL draft. So, you know, it's going to be really hard, you know, trying up with a title for this video today. So, you know, just bear with me. Uh, Colts easily beat the Panthers 3-6. Eh, it's nothing. Saints, you know, they beat the Titans 38-28, but it, but it actually didn't even matter at all because the Jets somehow beat the Steelers, you know, Mason Rudolph got injured. Duck Hodges continued to throw interceptions. And it was just a crazy time, you know. But the 
Steelers and the Titans are not out of it yet, so they're still in it. That sixth seed is still being battled for. Then we get to the Saturday games, which were very interesting. Jameis Winston throwing three-plus interception in that game. And the Texans won the AFC South barely. Um, I don't know how the Texans are going to, you know, keep this up because they've been struggling all season long. 23 to 20, they win there. Patriots, once again, in the AFC East, you know, um, they beat the Bills 24 17. But you know what? It's fine. The Bills, they're the five seed. They're going to be locked up at the five seed. They're staying right there. Uh, the 49ers knock out the Rams. They knock the Rams out of the playoffs in the thriller 34 31. And um, yeah. So it all comes down to this one more week. Two spots are left in the playoff picture. And that's it. As far as, you know, who's going goes. And it's going to be the one spot in the AFC, the wild card, and the NFC. So we have to keep our eyes and ears paid attention on those. So, you know, I, I honestly don't know. But, um, yeah, we'll talk about the biggest news in, in the next video. You know exactly what I mean. So Hubble upload this real quick we're gonna get on ahead and start talking about week 17 because it's gonna be a doozy of a week let me tell you y'all take care we'll see you guys in a few